Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emmy. Not gonna waste your time. Let's get into the video. Here are 40 tips for new players in less than eight minutes. Number one, once you've made a character and finished the tutorial, you can go to any other starter zone in the world and play with the other races. Number two, food and utility consumables are great for leveling. And while the buff is active, you get bonus experience on kill. You can buy cheap ones on the trading post by going through the tabs on the left, and if you're locked out of the trading post because you're a new player, you can still buy some from the heart vendors in the starting zones after finishing their quests. Number 3. Change your settings in-game by using the options menu and checkboxing the ones that you want. Number 4. Enemies give bonus experience based off of how long they've been alive. This is to discourage players from farming continuously in the same area. However, during your exploration, passive enemies you encounter are usually rich with experience because their lack of aggression causes players to ignore them. Number 5. If you're in a guild, you can enter the guild hall by pressing G and clicking the button in the top right corner. For higher level guilds, it is likely that the guild enhancements upgrade has already been unlocked. If this is the case, you can travel to the tavern and talk to the bartender. Here, you can get modifiers that give you bonus experience gain, magic find, karma, and more. After purchasing the modifier, you can see it above your skill bar. You can then press G and leave the guild hall to exit to your previous location. Number 6. It's a good idea to clear out your inventory after exploring for a while. Most enemies in level 80 maps will drop pieces of unidentified gear. Interacting with this gear will guarantee an item of at least the same rarity, with the possibility of a higher one. You can then salvage the gear with a kit, which has a high chance of recovering materials. These materials are often worth more than the original gear because they are used for other forms of crafting. If you have the copper-fed salvage-o-matic or a salvage kit purchased from a merchant, you can right-click and salvage all. Number 7. Deposit your materials directly into your bank by using the button in the top right corner of your inventory. Number 8. Any item that is grayed out can be instantly sold by clicking Sell Junk. Number 9. On the left side of your inventory panel, these empty slots are meant to be filled with space-expanding bags. Different types of bags will have different effects. Make sure you read the description to figure out what kinds you want. Number 10. Once you hit level 80 and you want to buy gear from the trading post, try buying level 78 gear instead of level 80 gear. The difference in stats is negligible since you'll probably be aiming for ascended gear later, but the difference in gold is enormous. Number 11. You can type I am Evan Nashblade in the trading post to make everything listed instead of icon. Keep in mind that this will likely make your trading post load slower since you will be viewing more items at once. You can type it again, exactly the same, if you want to revert it back. Number 12. You can resize and move your minimap to the top or bottom of your screen. Number 13. Pressing backslash on your keyboard will darken the chat box, making it more visible. Number 14. Chat commands like the ones listed will allow you to type in different message channels, allowing you to talk to different people. Number 15. You can click on someone's name to whisper them directly. Number 16. You can use slash W with your name to whisper yourself. I frequently use this to record waypoint locations that I copied from the wiki. Number 17. You can find other players using the looking for group tool, which is default open by pressing Y on your keyboard and clicking the second tab on the left. Number 18. Mouse over the top left corner of the map to make the missing points flash. This only works if the area is revealed. Number 19. You can dodge jump by pressing space and your dodge key at the same time. Number 20. Holding alt and dragging with left click will split items into different stacks. Number 21. You can hover over the name of a map to see your completion progress. You can also see the map rewards, which are given to you when completing events in that map. Number 22. Type slash wiki et in chat to open the timed events page on the Gilwars 2 wiki. Number 23. By default, holding the right mouse button while running will turn your character in the direction you point your camera. Holding the left mouse button while running will only rotate your camera. Number 24. You can right-click bags in your inventory and click Use All. Number 25. You can right-click the chest in the bottom right corner and it will automatically open into your inventory. Number 26. Using Crowd Control, or CC, on an enemy with a blue bar will eventually break it and stun them, causing them to take increased damage for a period of time. 
Number 27. You can repair your armor for free at any repair station. Number 28. Doing any three daily events will get you two gold, three spirit shards, and some achievement points. Number 29. Anything put in your bank is shared across your entire account. This includes the material storage, which is where the deposit button places your material items. Number 30. Double clicking an item will instantly move it from your bank. Number 31. You can preview skins in the wardrobe tab at the bank. It's a little outdated and missing some skins, but most of them are there. Number 32. You can get to Lion's Arch really quickly by opening up the PvP panel, entering the PvP lobby, running southeast to the purple portal on the map, and walking through it. Lion's Arch is the main city hub, and you'll frequently see people mingling here. It has a certain gates to all other major cities, the Wolfers World maps, the Fractal Dungeons, and the Lion's Arch Aerodrome, which is where raiders typically gather. You'll likely need to come back to this map during your exploration, so make sure you grab a waypoint for future fast travel needs. Number 33. You can change your utility skills by right-clicking the icon instead of trying to press the arrow and accidentally missing and then being sad because you have a 120 second cooldown and then you sit there questioning your life choices while your floppy fish and mode enemy judges you. Number 34. For highly liquid items, always list on the trading post. There's a high chance that someone will fill your order and the small increase in profit adds up over time. Number 35. You can all plus click on your minimap or full screen map to set markers. Shift plus drag right click to draw. Number 36. You can set your in-game status to online, away, invisible, or looking for group by typing slash LFG in chat. This will create an icon next to your name and set your icon color to blue. Number 37. Gilwars 2 Efficiency is a great tool that uses an API key from ArenaNet to track changes to your account. You can use it to check your wallet and materials, and there are a bunch of really great tools. For example, you can use the crafting calculator to figure out exactly what you need. The tool can track the materials that you already have, calculate the number of materials you still need, and then show you the order to put them together. Number 38. Make sure your gathering tools are the appropriate level or you'll ruin the materials you gather and will have to sell them as junk. Number 39. You can combine fine, journeyman, and master salvage kits, each with 25 uses, with three mystic forge zones to make a mystic salvage kit, which has 250 uses and is the equivalent of the master salvage kit. Number 40. Finally, the last tip I have for you is to take advantage of Gilwars 2's wonderful community. Many content creators on YouTube are also very active in their discords, Twitch streams, and public forums. I myself am an ArenaNet partner and I host quite a few in-game events. If you have never played the game before and would like to support the channel, please consider using the referral links that I have included in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video.